Hey everyone, it's Keyblader007, and we have a new event, probably the last event before Christmas, the Holiday Damage Contest, and this time I mean it, this is probably the last event we're getting before Christmas. Do as much damage as you can for fabulous rewards. Event periods from December 22nd to December 26th. Who can dish out the most damage, aim for the top of the ranks and get fabulous rewards. Event details. In this event, the rankings are determined by the amount of damage dealt to the enemies. The enemies will flee when the attack counter hits zero. Inflict as much damage as possible before they run. Aim for the top of the rankings and score high to win green rainstar spirit parts and useful metals like magic mirror, magic brooms, and even Fantasia Mickey B. If you fall in battle, you will not be able to continue. You can also equip score bonus metals to boost your score. Note, using skip tickets or skip ticket plus will not give you a score. So, first of all, I'll state this. I do not like damage contests that much. I prefer, on average, high score challenges, even though they become a little more pay to win. Reason being is it's usually just a measure of how much whale someone can be or how lucky someone could be based on traits and medals they've gotten. I thought the um, Four Towers and the Cax and Zex, which is Illustrated Shion EX, would help a lot with this challenge because adding counters or ignoring them, but it tends to be a double-edged sword in some ways. We'll talk about that in a minute. Before we go into the event itself, let's look at the rewards. So you need 25 million to get one Fantasia Mickey B, 20 million to get a Magic Broom, 12 million 500,000 for a Magic Broom, 10 million for a Magic Broom, 5 million for two Magic Mirrors, and 500,000 for one Magic Mirror. As you see, I've gotten everything except the last two. So close to that last one's. The next one, I mean. Now, ranking. So, top 1,000 will give you two Fantasia Mickey Bees, which is also known as Mickey and Brooms, if you forgot. Five Magic Mirrors and all the green Rain Star parts. Then it lowers to top 2,000. One, still five, all the parts. Then it's five Brooms, which essentially is the same thing as one Fantasia Mickey Bee if you evolve them, so I don't get why. But, pretty much the same reward as this, so it's not too bad. And up to 10,000, you get one broom. 20,000, you'll still get the Rainstar parts, which is really all I care about. And you get a little less of the Rainstar parts if you really suck. And I'm not trying to be mean here, but it's hard to suck that bad. It really is. So the biggest thing I really wanted for this was the Rainstar parts. I love the color green. It's festive. I don't give much care, I'm trying to not be uh, R-rated here, about the reward Fantasia Mickey B and the brooms, because honestly I have over 20 brooms Just I'm just holding on to, I don't really use them that often, I'm going to use some next guild campaign, I could do better if I had a guild campaign, obviously, like the last two months my medals are kind of locked behind guilt, and I'm too damn stubborn to guilt them without a campaign, because I don't want to risk a ton of bad guilds and waste every single mirror I have trying to get them to max out, it's just, it's not worth it to me. So, I'll talk about what I did do, and hopefully it helps you. Test your might. Objectives, inflict 25,000 or more damage at one hit, excluding Nova for 30 jewels. Inflict 10,000 or more damage at one hit, excluding Nova for Huey Dewey Louie. And inflict 5,000 or more damage at one hit, excluding Nova for a Moogle. Green Truck Aloma level 100. So it's not even that big. The objectives are easily gotten with just either a Kex or a Zex, because they do one ridiculously powerful hit even ungilded, so that's not even worrisome. Let's talk about the assist medals. So unlike high score challenge, I'm not going to do a dry run with zero because it doesn't really make a large, large amount of difference from my experience. The percents are kind of weird for damage contests. Anyway, your 1% medals are the following. Zex or Illustrated Shion EX. Kex or Illustrated Kyrie EX. Cage 0.2 Kyrie. HD Nominee. Illustrated Cage 2 Kyrie. Illustrated VV, Megara for some reason, Winnie the Pooh A, Cinderella for some reason, Owl, Coxer for some reason, and Piglet. So they give you at least chances with older metals. Most of them are either strength up, defense down, and for some reason she just lowers target speed defense by one and she's a single target. She's absolutely useless for this. But if you have her, yay, 1%. So my build is only using one single percent myself, because like I said, I'm not really going by percent. Most people are using the fairy stars to do good in this, and 
I tried it with the counterpoint, I got like 9 million. So I tried it with the fairy stars, I got near 19 million. So yeah, fairy stars is really good for this. I have Kex, Guilted, copying Kex. This is here, and I just guilted it and just put second chance 2 on it, only because double poison resistance. We'll talk about that in a minute. I have my HD Shion, which also has poison resistance. That just happened to work out this time for once. HD Final Form Sora, which I have extra on. Guilted. And my HD Ava EX, which is boosted, which is why I'm using it above Era. Also, by the time we get to Ava, I'm already at 7 upright strength, so it's kind of pointless to put Era because he doesn't do anything at that point. Now, I'm taking, instead of Mickey, I'm taking Illustrated Goofy. Why Illustrated Goofy? Double poison resistance. Again, we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's just jump into the fight. Strike it down quickly with powerful special attacks. Don't give this flighty fungi a chance to run away. Here we go. So, turning off auto. Um, the mushroom is, the first one is green, and he has a 7 over his head, which means 7 metal attacks, not hit counter uh, like the blue one. He has plus 4,995 health bars, holy shit. You cannot kill this guy unless you are super whale. I am not super whale, I cannot kill. <laughs> but you get as close as you can at this point in the damage contest. Kex is going to add counters, and 4 towers are going to ignore counters, which is... Good and bad. These mofos are impossible to turtle. Besides the counter problem, they poison you and their attack is so strong even if they don't poison you, I can't turtle it. I tried getting max defenses, lower their attack, they still kill me. They're extremely powerful for little 100 guys. They're not meant to work, do a workaround. They were very smart in designing this. Ideally, you want to take three turns killing this guy. Uh, you need a level 5 pet because that'll give you your second turn. Uh, you do want to have some kind of counter adds or counter skip stuff. Uh, the 5 pet will cure you uh, back to health like a second chance. And level 4 will give you the e sooner to bring you out of your poison. And then you want a second chance so you make a third turn and have the poison resistance so you don't get poisoned. Watch. Ideally the share should be an AoE but I needed the poison resistance so can't be helped. See, I avoided the poison, but did you see the damage on that thing? Ideally, if it had a couple more counters, it wouldn't be so bad for the third turn. But that's all I can do for now. And this is the ideal way you want to do this. Of course, if you had better medals, if I had better medals, you'd probably be in the top 10 by now. Or at least max reward score. When you knock the counters out, they disappear. Are we done? No. Now we fight the group. Joy. So now there's a group of one of each color. This is why I said the Goofy is not an ideal medal for this, because you do usually want AoE medals. You have the blue, red, and green version of the same guy with the same health, 4,995 health bars. And we need the same results to happen. That's also the problem with random metals. You see how one of the counters didn't get affected. That could be a problem later. And my other second chance didn't go off, but you get the idea.
So you get a Moogle, Huey Dewey Louie, and 30 jewels for your objective rewards. 5,000 points will give you a magic mirror. 5 million points will give you two magic mirrors. 10 million points will give you a magic broom. And 12,500,000 points will give you one more magic broom. And this is all I've reached so far, so yeah. So you see, it's all about RNG and, you know, multiple runs. Where I got now, I have a current rank of 694. Like I said, I don't care too much about the ranking thing. I'm just, you know, trying my best to do it. I gotta give a shout out to Sin, uh, Nicola, John, Orm, and D-Legend for some of their tips and tricks and build ideas. As well as whoever's in the top 10, you know, it's always nice to get an idea on how they do things thanks to the upgrade that lets us see their setups. They probably don't like it, but hell, it sure is good for the rest of us. So, good luck to you, and, you know, you see, you just need to keep on trying if uh, things don't work out. I didn't feel like doing this video a billion times just to get that last second chance to work out, just to show you what it does. But you get the idea. Well, hopefully this has helped you out. Again, this is the final time because the next video will be after Christmas, or potentially on Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. Later.